All right, so let's talk about flash messages and let's go to inertia documentation under shared data. If we scroll down, we have this section called flash messages. And all we have to do to access these flash messages that are basically session messages created by Laravel is to add them to the share method in our handle inertia requests middleware. So we want to open handle inertia requests middleware and this is under your app directory then http then middlewares and then this document and remember when we were setting up our project we created this middleware that time and we didn't go through this at all but this is where we have some information about our inertia app and we can change some of the values for example you can change the name of your root directory to whatever you want by default it's app if you want to change it you can do so here then we have this version function we don't need to worry about it then we have this share function so this method or function returns an array that basically creates global props for our components and we can have anything here for example i'm going to create a name key and set the value to john for example now in order to grab this name in any component we have another hook for example let's go to the home page under the route I'm going to log use page that needs to be imported from inertia. So we already have link. We just want to import use page as well. And then we want to invoke it. Now let's go back to our website and go to the console. So if I give it a reload, you notice we have this object. So we have the name of the components, the props, and some other information that could be useful in your application. For example, if you want to set the title dynamically, you could use this component property. But what we want here is this props object that has errors, names, and posts. So this name is the one we used in the share method in our inertia middleware. So you can have as many key value pairs as you want here, but keep in mind, because this is shared among all the components, you don't want to include any heavy operations here because it will slow down your website. This is mainly used where you want to have your authenticated user state or in this case, our flash messages. So let's go back to inertia documentation and this is how they are implementing it. So I'm just gonna copy this block of code, then replace this name with that code. So we are creating an object and calling it flash. And then within that, we have a message that is set to the request session, then message if it exists. And you notice it is set using an anonymous function and that is basically loading these messages lazily. Anyway, this message is the one you can use it in your component and you can call it whatever you want. But now if we go back to our website and give it a refresh, you notice now under props, we have a flash object Object, and within that we have a message that is set to null at the moment so this would be filled using laravel session messages so to see how this works let's go to our post controller and in our destroy method where we are deleting a post we want to redirect to the home page with a flash message using the with method which would take the key as the first argument and i'm going to call it message because we are calling it message in our shared function so Make sure this name is the same name that you are using in your with method. You could of course have multiple flash messages, but the one that we want to grab in this case, we are calling it message. Anyway, that's the key and the value, for example, the post was deleted. So now let's go back to our website and I'm going to delete this post and also bring up the console. So I'm gonna press delete here and notice we are back to the home page, but now under props, flash messages we have a value for that message that says the post was deleted so now we have access to this message all we have to do here is to show it to the users so back to our home page we want to use this use page and extract whatever value we need so maybe under that route i'm going to extract that flash object from our use page that is under props back to our console this flash object is under the props so we can say use page then chain the props here so now we have access to the flash messages now we just have to show it to the users so under the title i'm going to use the curly brackets say if the flash then message has a value then maybe create a div for it and then show that flash message so let's test this again now you notice this is already being showed because it is still in our props. But if I reload our page, it's gone. So let's delete this post. 
again i'm going to press delete back to the home page and we see our message now i'm going to add some styles to this div so it's much better and easier to see all right so we check if the flash message exists then we show it to the user and i added some css classes let's give it a go one more time so back to the home page i'm going to delete this post and we get the flash message up there so again if you need a global prop that needs to be shared with all your components you can define them in this share method inside your handle inertia requests middleware and then in your component using the use page hook from inertia you can access those properties now as a last touch for this video i'm just going to add some javascript react code and it has nothing to do with inertia or laravel i just want to add a timeout to this flash message so it would go away after a certain amount of time because right now it just stays there forever until i reload the page or i go to another page so let's do this so i'm going to say const then i'm going to create a variable call it flash msg then the function that would update that i'm going to call it set flash msg and then use the use state hook from react now the initial value it's going to be flash message so instead of using the flash message down here i'm using it up here so then i can use this flash message down here so i want to say flash message as well as down here and then i want to set a timeout to clear that flash message so within this set timeout function i want to use that set flash msg function and just set it to null and let's give it a few seconds maybe two and let's see if this works so back to the home page i'm going to go to this post and delete so we have this for two seconds and now it's gone let's do it one more time we are just deleting posts delete this one one two gone so it works the way we want and that's all about flash messages